Tim Johnson. Um, uh, Granite Creek Copper is uh, one of the newest companies in the Yukon. And it's also the newest company in the metallic group of companies. So the metallic group of companies consists of metallic minerals, high-grade silver in the Yukon, Group 10 metals, which is uh, platinum, palladium in Montana, and then the, the newest sisters of the group, uh, Granite Creek, where we got high-grade copper in the Minto Copper Belt. Um, we, uh, we cleaned the company up last year. Uh, we sort of launched uh, January 2019. Uh, we made an acquisition from a, uh, a little-known uh, prospector in the Yukon by the name of Bill Harris. Um, and what Bill had done, he had slowly over, over years, as I'm sure many of you know, cobbled together this property, which had been fractionally owned and he very patiently put it together. He waited for the right group to come. And after he vented it to us, he also pointed out that there was a large private uh, database that could be had and would allow us to advance the project quite rapidly. So we were able to do that. Uh, we got that data uh, shortly after the acquisition <clears throat> and we were able to uh, do a desktop um, compilation and, and get really a head start on our project. Uh, we're in the, like I said, we're in the Minto Copper Belt, uh, south of Minto Mine, owned by Pepperidge Resources. Um, we own 117 square kilometers. Um, we own that 100%, subject to a small royalty to Mr. Harris, which he's promised he'll work with us uh, if we need him to. But we also sit adjacent to uh, Copper North Carmax deposit, and recently um, we acquired a 20 or 30% interest in Copper North by uh, direct acquisition of shares in exchange for our shares. That gives uh, our shareholders exposure to a measured and indicated resource um, as under PEA. Uh, we always saw that resource as a little on the small side, and we feel that um, our, our success will show that uh, that, that might, might be economic. Uh, so this is the historic data that we were able to compile. Uh, this is copper in soils, and it gave us, uh, right out of the gate, four strong targets. Uh, we had boots on the ground this summer, having a look at those targets. Our primary focus was the, uh, the grand zone within the south target. And the reason that was our primary focus is we were looking for strike extensions of the Copper North zones uh, across onto our property. Uh, we've done some IP survey in there. We're still working with the IP crew to uh, get those finalized before we can publish those. Um, but we're quite encouraged that um, we think that some, some of those could extend across. And in the compilation work we did on our, our A zone and the central target, um, we're looking at that and we're trying to, to, to figure out what we need to do to take that to resource. There's about 26 holes in there. Some of them are very well mineralized. Um, back in the 1980, when they, I think they were doing paper sections and they were holding them up and trying to figure out how they could put a resource together, they were having trouble, but modern model, modeling techniques, I think we might be able to do something with it. Um, so look for us to uh, have a drill program next summer. We will be focusing on that central target, and we also will be focusing on our grand zone uh, adjacent to the, the Copper North resource. Um, so yeah, so that's, a, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, we will be financing over the next few months for a drill program next year uh, with the hope that we can quickly build a resource. We got uh, roughly 47 million shares out. Uh, we have some warrants out. Do get on the block. Stop by our booth. Have a chat. We'll be glad to talk to you more. Thank you.